Welcome back to Switch to Linux. So we are going to continue the Nextcloud tutorials and uh, we're going to do a couple of videos on the contacts and calendars. And the reason I want to do a couple of them is that it can, uh, there are a few hiccups that are common when you're attempting to import your contacts into this. And so I wanted to do a specific video just on how to get our contacts into the cloud. And then what we're going to do is do another video, maybe one or two videos on how to actually sync those to your different devices. Some of which cases, like here on Linux Mint, where we are running here, if you just attach your Nextcloud online account, turn on contacts, everything is instantly synced. That occurs on um, Cinnamon, on Gnome, on Budgie, and even it will work if you have the online accounts features working on any KDE applications as well. However, there are some different caveats for Androids, whether you want to use stock devices or open source devices and iOS is a little bit different as well. And so we'll do separate videos on all those. But what we wanted to focus on today is getting your contacts into Nextcloud because one common thing always occurs and that is that a lot of your applications which will export your vCard file, which is the only thing Nextcloud allows you to import, will actually import them without the correct specifications or with the incorrect version. So uh, when you come into Nextcloud, the first thing you need to do is in your administrator account, you need to make sure that you have the contacts application installed. So come on down here. This is my administrator account. Uh, the administrator account has a little N right over here. Uh, click in on our apps and then what we will get to is we will have the list of all of the applications. And if you come on over to your applications bundles, um, you can see here I have the calendar and the contacts installed. Um, when I'm recording videos, sometimes this thing just sits here and spins on me. Um, it doesn't ever do that when I'm not recording the videos. There it is. All right, so coming down here, uh, both of these are going to be found inside of your office. And I believe your social and communications also contains your contacts. I just come on down here to your office and text. Uh, enable and uh, download and enable your calendar and your contacts. Of course, we're not using our calendar right now. We're just going to need both of these by the time you're done. And though, so with that, we're going to jump back on over here. And this is my user has the M here. It's Mr. Test user. And so Mr. Test user here, um, if we want to head on over to contacts and hopefully I deleted all the contacts out of here. I was doing my tests. Um, so that I could uh, double check everything's working. No, I, all my contacts are still in there. Let's just delete all the contacts. Uh oh, an error has occurred. An error has occurred. Let's go ahead and pull that back up. There's no contacts found. So down here in the settings, you have the ability to import information. Now, the only thing it will actually allow you to import is a vCard file. I'm not sure why it gives you everything. So here, for example, is a CSV with a bunch of contacts. Entering this, you'll see nothing happens. So let's go ahead and look at our contact list. So what I did here is I just downloaded this sample contacts and it contains a lot of different things. And then what I ended up doing is I parsed out everything that I did not need out of it already. So it gave me first name, last name, full addresses, emails, websites, all that kind of stuff. All I did is I kind of parroted it down just to first name, last name, phone number, and email. Okay, you might need more information than that. Uh, for the simplicity of this, this is what we're going to run with. Uh, you can actually import everything else as well, as long as that vCard file is correct. The problem is we don't really have the option to export this as a V file that I know of. So check in here under these, and who knows, maybe there's a plugin to do that. Um, but if you come on down through your list, um, we don't have those options. Um, and we need a tool for doing that. Now, I know that I have exported contact lists from my K address book on my backup device. However, I could not get that functionality working here and KDE's documentation is not particularly good. So we're actually going to use two different applications to format our VCF correctly. Uh, that is sad, but the reality is there's gonna be two applications. The first is going to be Thunderbird. So the reason we're using Thunderbird is it allows you to import contacts in a custom form. However, it will not export in a vCard 3.0 format, which is going to silently fail. So we're going to need to take the 
uh, the V card, which is a 2.1 format from Thunderbird, import that into Evolution and then export it again because Evolution gives us exactly the formatting that we need. The problem is we can't go into Evolution and import the contacts because it doesn't know how to read the file. Now, I could download a sample file and build everything up right and get it to import and it will work. I've done it before, but using Thunderbird as a relay through Evolution saves us a lot of time. The reason is, uh, I booted this up, we don't even have to have an email on there, so if you don't want to use Thunderbird, no big deal. Uh, we're just going to use it for its tools. We're going to come down to Tools and hit Address Book, and then what we're going to do is we're going to import a new address book. So under Tools, under Import, it's going to ask us what we're going to do. So we're going to select an Import, um, import Type of Address Book, and then I'm going to select uh, LDIF, tab, CSV, or text. We're going to hit next and then find our file. And this, it will default to LDIF. We're going to come down to comma separated, which gives us my CSV file. And then we're going to open this. Now, what this is actually going to do is it's going to give us the list of all of the fields. So the address book field, which is over here on the uh, left, this address book field is actually going to be the various things that you, it can import into. And then your task is to line up the fields with the record fields to import. And so you can actually grab these guys and move them up and down like this. And then what you do is you go through here and you grab all the different things that you need and you just use your move up, move down to get your four items or however many items. So if you were doing your full address, you know, you'd move your home address to your address line, your home postal code to your postal code line. This is why we're using Thunderbird is because it allows us a custom import to match up the available fields that Thunderbird's looking for versus the actual fields that are inside of our file. So if I hit input, then it will input this and it gives us this as a new address list. So now you can see that we have this giant list of addresses here. Okay, so on each one of these guys, open it up, we have a first name, we have a last name, we have an email, we have a home. All right, so now what we are going to do is right click, uh, let's say it's tools. Uh, with that selected, we're going to export and we are gonna go ahead and export this and we want to export as a vCard file. So come down here, find the vCard file, and let me just double check, is there anything else we could use? Nope, just use the vCard file. And we're going to call this, uh, let's just call it a Thunder list, list coming from Thunderbird. So save this as a vCard file, and then now what we should have is our Thunder list open with our text editor. Now here is the problem, is that it gives us the vCard uh, the N is the, the name, then it has the email, it has the telephone, it has the version, and then it has the end card. The challenge comes in that we have our vCard3 specification is the only thing that's going to import. Okay, so before we examine this, I'm going to show you what happens if we attempt to import this version 2.1. Hit open, and it's just going to sit there and do this. This is called a silent fail. If you actually were to pull up your developer tools and attempt to import this again, um, then it's actually going to give us a ton of errors. Okay, and uh, what the errors are going to show us, if I can find the errors, what the errors here are going to show us is that it is failing on the JavaScript that is supposed to be parsing these out because it does not know what to do with this version. So this is the version that we need. Now, you can do some fun copy and replace and edits and convert your 2.1 by using a series of replaces. Now, you do not absolutely need to have the uh, things in capitals, but you have to start with vCard, you have to list version 3.0 next, and then you list these, and you'll notice that version, the N, which gives us the name, and the FN, uh, which is the formatted name, always have to be included. The other things are not required, but you will notice that things like the email address, we have to have this type, that does not show up in our original list. 
So you'll notice here looking at the email, uh, internet, and then it gives us the email address. But this is not the way to format AV card 3.0 and that's why the thing keeps failing. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is let's go into our evolution and we are in our contacts on evolution and we're going to right click this and let's see, I gotta remember where it is. It might be under import, there we are. So we're going to import, hit next, import type, a single file, and then we're gonna grab our file name and we're going to grab our thunder list. So it automatically detects that this is a V card import location into the personal, that's just fine, unless you already have contacts on your, uh, on your evolution. Um, and then go ahead and hit apply to import the data and you can see that it is now importing all of our data. Okay, so now if we click on this, this is that FN and this is the N, uh, or I forget which one's which. But anyway, it is giving us both of the names. Here's our email under type and other email, and then we have a telephone under home. So that's that. So now what we're going to do is save as a V card, and now we will call this a evolution list. Saving this as a V card should give us the version that we need. So evolution list, open this one with the text editor. You'll notice now we have the exact formatting that we need. So let's go ahead and pull up this page again. And here is this. So you'll see that we have begin V card, our version. Here's our name. Here's our telephone with our type home voice our email, and then these are revisions and UIDs. It doesn't matter, those are okay, and then we end the vCard. So now we actually have a functioning vCard. Click your import into, here's our evo list. And whereas our Thunderbird list failed, you'll see that this one is actually importing the contacts. So it is recognizing right away there's 500 contacts. You can see the count up number that it is actually now importing our contacts. And so now we will have a functioning uh, contact list once this is done. Okay, so now we have our list of 100 sample contacts into our system. I might actually delete all these and just pare it down to, to just a few so that when we do our future sampling, it doesn't take quite as long time. But you can see if we click on an individual contact here, uh, we can do our, here's our email, here's our phone number, anything else we would have in here is, is going to be good. So we can, of course, now make any adjustments or alterations. You also have the ability to add new contacts. Um, so hitting the add new contact here will give you the ability to create one. So just give it all the information that you want. Uh, we're going to cancel that. Uh, here's just delete my new contact. And of course, if you want to delete anybody, since I'm going to delete some out of here anyway, you can just go ahead and do this. I'm getting that error and occurred because I'm clicking it too quickly. <laughs> so uh, you can see here now that we have a fully functioning contact list inside of our next cloud. So the next videos we are going to do is we will look at installing, uh, basically syncing our cloud contacts to the different devices that we have. And uh, I, I'm not sure if we're gonna do one video for each operating system or if we're going to do a separate video for uh, each different operating system. There's everything from you know, the, basic, uh, the basic syncing tools that we would have on, uh, on a main operating system to how you'd put it in on iOS and Android. So that is, uh, this is how to get your contacts in. Hopefully this helped you out. Again, there might be a better ways to format that, uh, the vCard version three. This is just the system that I found that works the most consistently across the board for getting this in. And this all uses free and open source applications. So even if you're on Windows or something, uh, you could always spin up a virtual machine or download a live key ISO onto a USB drive spin yourself up one of these, download the applications, do everything, sync it all up, and then you know kill the machine at the end. That's okay, we don't actually have to do anything special with this. So hopefully this helped out. Uh, let me know your feedback in the uh, comments down below. So thanks for coming along on another video from Switched to Linux.
Thank you for making it to the end of this Switch to Linux video. You can have a look at another video right on over here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel or to Think Life Media, which is my own personal support page. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.